Hi, this is Luke with harmonica.com and in this video I'm covering all the Beatles songs you're looking for starting with what's easy for you on your first day and ending with something to challenge you advanced players. Love Me Do, Hey Jude, Let It Be, Yesterday, Obladi, From Me To You. We're covering it all in eight levels, starting with the easiest, level one. Released in 1964 on A Hard Day's Night, the soundtrack to their movie of the same name. This is a great song for you to learn today, even if today's your first day playing the harmonica, because it doesn't require you to be able to isolate notes. I've got a 10 hole harmonica here in the key of C, and we're gonna start on holes two and three. Draw. Let's find those. There's hole number two. There's two and three, so ba ba. Once you're playing those two holes, then this is gonna be really simple because we're just gonna draw two times on the holes two and three. Then we're gonna blow, draw, blow on holes three and four, which is just one hole to the right, right? So we got two and three. Now we're gonna blow on three and four. Draw. Blow. When we get back to this draw two and three the second time, we're gonna anticipate it a little bit and hold it for a little bit longer. Let's try it nice and slow. Ready, go. Notice the second time we got to that draw two and three, we came in a little early and we held it a little bit longer. Now, if you want a little bit of extra credit, you can do a little shake on the draw two, three there. That's just shaking your head, shaking the harmonica, or shaking both on that draw two and three. And if you wanna spruce it up more, that's something you can do, but it's optional. Let's try it up to speed. One, two, oh, one, two, ready, go. Let's move on to level two. First released in the UK in 1963, Love Me Do was a number one hit for the Beatles in the US when they released it stateside in 1964. I'm gonna kind of show you how to play this if today is your first day playing the harmonica. And then I'm gonna show you how to play exactly how John Lennon plays it on the recording. So if today's your first day, we're not gonna worry about isolating notes. So we're gonna do this all playing two notes at the same time, starting on the draw four and five. Let's find that. There's hole four. That's draw four, five, now we want to stay there and blow. Move one hole to the left and draw. And then come all the way down to draw one and two, four times. And I'm saying cut as I breathe in on the draw one and two. And then if we want to, we can add in the hand wall. Let's try it. Ready, go. Now, if you know how to play single notes, let's go ahead and play this how it's actually played on the recording, starting on the draw five. There's draw five. Blow five. Draw four. Now four times on the draw two. Again, I'm saying cut on the draw two, and of course, I always get asked, can we substitute the blow three for the draw two? The answer is yes, of course. You can always play the blow three instead of the draw two because they're the same note. Now, the draw two has some advantages as we get more experienced on the harmonica for tonal variation. That being that we can bend up into it really quickly instead of just, it's, it just has a little bit more a cooler attack. Of course, we can also add vibrato to it. We can't do that on the blow three. Also, the draw two is one of the hardest notes for beginners to play. So it's okay to substitute the blow three, but don't avoid the draw two forever because you want it to become your friend over time. Now, the second time we play this, we're playing it exactly as we did the first time, but this time we're adding in quarter note triplets with our hand wah. When I'm doing that, I'm not just doing the hand wah. I'm also kind of saying wah, 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 wah on the inside of my mouth. So a lot of that tonal variation comes from the inside of the mouth. In fact, let me do it without the hand walk. You can hear that wah, 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 even though I'm not doing the hand wah. Then together, it just gets more pronounced. And then the third time, when we get to the blow five, he does kind of like a tongue roll, like Or you could do like a French R, like a snore, kind of thing. Either of those work. Here's what the tongue roll sounds like. 
Here's what the snore sounds like. I like to roll the R. I think that's what he's actually doing. This time when we get down to the draw two, we're only gonna do three of them. Then we're gonna go blow four, draw three. Then we're gonna do two more draw twos, take a quick pause, do three more draw twos, and then one final blow four, draw three, like this. So the whole thing nice and slow, ready, go. Now you'll notice a lot of these draw twos are on the upbeats. That's very syncopated and challenging to play rhythmically. I go into that very deeply in my beginner to boss course. But moving on, let's try this with the whole band. Ready, go. Oh. Very good. We'll come back into the second harmonica part in this song later in level eight. But for now, let's move on to level three. From Me To You was the Beatles' third release in 1963 and scored them their first number one hit in the UK. The song was originally in the key of G and was played on a chromatic harmonica, which has a button on the side. But we can play it on our C harmonicas here in the key of F, which is called 12th position. This song requires that you're able to play single notes. So we're using a C harmonica to play this song in the key of F, it's called 12th position. If you wanted to play along with the original recording, which is in the key of A, you'd need a low E harmonica. But for today, let's just play it on our C harmonica, starting on the draw five. One hold to the right and we're gonna blow, draw, blow. Back to the draw five. Then two times on the blow six. Now here's the tricky part. This is why this is level three. We're gonna have to go from a blow six to a draw four. So we're gonna have to skip hole and change air direction at the same time. So here's six. And we're going down to draw four. Six, drop four. So let's play the whole thing really slowly. Ready, set, go. Again. All right, let's try it up to tempo now. You ready? One, two, ready, set, go. Cool, so we've tackled the three Beatles songs that have significant harmonica parts in them. Now we're gonna move on to other songs whose melodies are popular and fun to play on harmonica, starting with our challenge on level four, Obladi Oblada. Obladi Oblada was released in 1968 on the so-called White Album. Of course, mine now has become the Off-White Album. <laughs> this song has a fun Jamaican ska feel, and if we know how to play single notes, it's very easy to play this melody on the harmonica. It starts with all blow notes, just going straight up, four, five, six. So let's find hole number four. There's hole number four. Five, six. We're gonna do that three times, and the last time we're gonna go up to hole seven. Back to hole six. Two times blow draw on hole five. Then draw four. Then blow four. Ready, set, go.
MTV and Rolling Stone have both called Yesterday the number one pop song of all time. Originally in the key of F, you'd need an F harmonica to be able to play along with the original recording, and I would recommend a low F harmonica because the high F is quite shrill. But of course, we're gonna play it today on our trusty C harmonicas, and one thing I love about this song is that it demonstrates why it's helpful to learn a scale. There's a lot of stepwise motion in this melody that comes straight from the major scale. The C major scale just goes like this, going up, it's starting on the four blow. <laughs> We got four below, four draw. Five below, five draw. Six below, six draw. And then seven draw, seven blow. That's one thing about the harmonica that we gotta get used to. Holes one through six, the draws are higher than the blows. And then holes seven through 10, the blows are higher than the draws. So we always have that switch from hole six to hole seven. And that's something that we just have to get used to. Coming back down the C major scale, seven blow to seven draw. Six draw, six blow. Five draw, five blow. Four draw, four blow. If you learn and memorize that scale, you'll see how this melody fits in it. And we're gonna start draw four and two times on blow four. Now we got blow five, draw five. Blow six, draw six. Draw seven, blow seven. Draw seven, and then ending two times on the draw six. Let's just try that much of it. Now we're gonna do two times on the draw six to the blow six. Draw five, blow five. Draw four to the draw five. Back to blow five. So that whole section. Draw four, blow four. Blow five, draw four. Draw three. Blow four. Blow five, two times. And if you learn the major scale again, you can see how that all fits in the major scale. One, two, ready, go. For level six, we are going to be playing Let It Be. Released in 1970, it was the Beatles' last single release before Paul McCartney announced he would be leaving the band. And this song was originally recorded in the key of C, so you can play along with the record on your C harp. And the reason it's level six is because it does require the draw three whole step bend. Right at the beginning of the verse, we're gonna do four times on blow three. Draw three whole step bend. Blow four. Blow three. Again. Blow four, draw four, then three times on the blow five. Draw four, draw four again, blow four two times. Then we have on hole five, two blows, a draw, two blows, and then ending on draw four. Then blow five, two draw fours, and a blow four. So nice and slow, let's play that whole verse. Now for the chorus, starting on blow five, draw four, blow four. Now blow five, blow six, draw six. 
I'm kind of bending into that six. You can say dwa or oi. Now two times on blow six, then we have blow five, blow four two times. Here we have our draw three whole step bend again. And then from there up to the blow five. And then we have that same thing on hole five, blowing two times, drawing once, blowing two times, and ending on the draw four. And blow five, draw four, and two times on blow four. And then a fun little thing you can do at the end, we can do this double stop thing. And starting on a draw five, six, blow, then draw four, five, and blow five. Then draw three, four, blow three, four. Then two times on draw two, three. And then blow wherever you want. Let's try it with the band. Stuff. I teach some of these Beatles songs very slowly and methodically in my Beginner to Boss course, as well as providing you with all the fundamentals you need to become a harmonica boss. Check it out over at harmonica.com. Hey, hey Jude was released Don't in 1968. It sold over 8 million copies, went number one in multiple countries, and is on many critics' lists of the best songs of all time. This song is also originally in the key of F, so again, you'd want to have a low F harmonica to be able to play along with the original recording. My first encounter with the song was from my dad's Hey Jude record. This was a capital release in 1970. It was kind of a compilation of a lot of great songs, some of their number one hits and whatnot. Actually, people refer to this album as the Hey Jude album. The reason this song is level six is there's a lot of draw sevens and draw eights, which are typically holes that are very difficult for beginners. There's a lot of skips, and then at the end, there is a draw three whole step bend if we're playing it in the low octave. We're gonna start blow six, blow five, then blow five, blow six, draw six, and down to the draw four. Then we're gonna do draw four, blow five, draw five, and then skip up from the draw five up to the blow seven. Now coming down, blow seven, draw seven, blow six, draw six, blow six, draw five, blow five. Now we're gonna do blow six, draw six. We're gonna do three times on the draw six, then skip all the way up to the draw eight, and then land on the blow seven. Draw seven, blow seven, draw six, blow six. Then down to the blow four, draw four, blow five. Then we're gonna skip up to draw six, blow six. Now blow six, draw five, blow five. Skipping down to the draw three. And that's Hey Jude, let's try the whole thing. about the, the outro, right? The outro is the whole awesome part. This is a seven minute tune. It's pretty awesome that it was such a big, huge radio hit. So we can play it in the lower octave, but it'll require the draw three whole step bend at one point, but the beginning's easy. Blow one, blow two, blow three, then draw four, blow four. Again. Now here's our draw three whole step bend. To the blow three. Now 
we can play it in the higher octave. We don't have any bends, but then we're getting into some of those high notes, starting on the blow four, blow five, blow six. Now up to the draw eight to the blow seven. Again. Then draw six, blow six. I did a double stop. I think it's nice on the draw five and six to the blow five and six. If you really want to challenge yourself, we could do splits here. We could do split one, four. Split two, five. Split three, six. Now we're gonna have a split five here. It's a draw four, draw eight. To the four, seven. To the draw four, draw eight. To the blow four, seven. And then maybe back to our double stops on the draw five, six, blow five, six. I love splits because it adds a lot of power and weight. Obviously this is not for the faint of heart though. really wanted to get advanced, you could end by trying to do a draw three six with the whole set bend on the three. I heard India Sphere do something like this. Wow, I didn't even know I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> At level eight, we are going to return now to Love Me Do and play the second half of it that you're hearing right here. This was most likely played on a chromatic. There's evidence in interviews of John Lennon where he implied that he did play a chromatic harmonica with a button on the side. We're gonna start with the draw three whole step bend two times to the blow three. To the draw two half step bend. Then draw two to the draw two whole step. To the blow two to the draw one. Well, congratulations on making it to the end of the Beatles, but have you mastered the stones yet? You can check it out right here.